done so many things. Uh, and uh, is this, uh, if you have that same sort of mysterious little chills down your spine doing it in one when you started, after being so experienced now, how do you think it'll be different? Which the audiences know you're doing in one, doing a zombie. Can you be there? I hope so. The genius of the government that we've established is it the great four great rights of the people. Conscience, speech, press, and right to assemble are included in it because this great motion will guarantee in perpetuity the right and protect the right of people to voice those opinions we loathe and despise, to protect them with the same force it does those that we cherish and live by. Does this mean I'm a communist founder? That's awfully funny, isn't it, Mr. Secretary? That's terribly funny. This was the 1950s, the time of the Cold War, loyalty oaths, Joe McCarthy. Blacklisting ruled the airways. If you wanted to discredit an otherwise legitimate political opponent and didn't want to argue over what the real issues were, you called him a communist. Yes. They found a perfect way to shut off the political dialogue in our society. See. Now that shut up dissent. Of course I believe in the right to dissent, Congressman. The right to dissent is a sacred American right. I'll knock a man's teeth down his throat in a fear of my right to dissent. <laughs> When this was over, Lewis Neiser wrote in his own book of you, one lone man with virtually no resources dragged the defendants into court and although outrageously outnumbered, withstood starvation and disgrace and summoned enough strength to battle them into submission. John Henry Falk, a key figure in a landmark legal decision, an articulate spokesman for constitutional rights, and a very funny guy. Calvin Bang. Uh, he uh, invented a do-it-yourself baptismal kit. <laughs> it was for shutting. And if you sent your money ahead of time, prepaid, Cal would send you an autograph picture of Jesus Christ that glows in the dark. John Henry Falk was one lone man in his fight against blacklisting and one lone man on stage, but he was never later would become the inspiration for Johnny's characters. You know, he married somebody he's going to talk about. He's going to talk about the Magnus family. And he married Eloise Magnus. And he took his honeymoon down in Mexico. By himself. I tell you, it hurt her feelings. John Henry is a humorist, an observer 